Hello and good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Trust that this are these words will find you in great strength. I hope these words will find you in your right frame of mind. And sometimes it's not that things will always be perfect, but there is always another day. Good morning. You're listening to the voice of your friend, your colleague, your brother, your family, or just another gentleman or another guy. Whichever will fit your way, it doesn't really matter in the sense of the name, however, this is error. Trust that each and every one is doing well. Some of you could say Minister Trench because you know him that way. Some of you know him as Errol. Some of you know him as that music guy. Some of you know him as that preacher guy. Some of you know him as that funny guy. Some of you know him as just the person who is very as you would say, motivated, consistent, I try. Well, every now and then I like to reach out to somebody to say how to do. Every now, I, every now and then I like to reach out to somebody to bring a word of encouragement. The good Lord allow me to make it. It is not anything good that I have done, but the good Lord allow me to make it. I trust that wherever you are, I trust that wherever you are, you will accept my words this morning that you can make it. I hope wherever you are this morning, or today, you will accept these words that you can make it. As you can see, it is getting to become the crock of dawn. I guess the crock of dawn or whatever way they may have put it is that it's getting to be the early morning. Early morning. So I am not very much uh, um, knowledge in the in in science or in the way environmental. I am not very schooled in that area. But I know one thing for sure that the night comes, but it do not last. Darkness comes, but it do not last forever. The night comes, but the night do not last forever. The day will come. So the number one thing that if I could encourage anyone is to make it through the night. And don't run. Now, make it through the night doesn't necessarily mean that it's a night. Just a night. I'm only using the word a night because it's the night seems to become quiet, sometimes lonely, sometimes dreary, and sometimes dark. The night represents it's become darker. Now as I'm driving, it as the, the crack of dawn or the early morning, the sun has not come up yet, but it will become brighter and brighter. That meant 
the morning came. The morning came, so the night will have to disappear. The morning came, so the night will have to disappear. Many people experience nights in their life. When I talk, when I speak of many people experience night struggles, loneliness, financial difficulties, sickness, misery, affliction, all kind of stuff can be placed into the night. Now we're not saying that night is not a good thing. I hope somebody do not read me and take it wrong. I am not saying that night is completely a negative. But I use the night as a signification to the words in which I'm bringing forth that the night do not last forever. The night has a couple hours that it must go through. The night must pass. The night will pass. All I ask you to do is to stick out the night. Do not give up during the night. Do not throw the towel in because it is night. The night will pass. The storm will pass. If you look into different areas where there has been storm, some places are, it has been where people have lost some of their homes are home. People also have lost their properties, valuable things. The heavy wind, the heavy storm, the heavy rain, the heavy breeze, whatever it might be. But after a while, after the storm, they must become a calm. Yes, during the storm, it is important to hold on, to be stable, not to be running here and there, because sometimes running here and there is where the tra tra tragedy taking place. It is important to stay calm during the storm. It is important to Keep focused, stay focused during the storm. It is important to be stable. I'm not saying do not run for the high hills. But what I'm trying to say to you, the storm will pass. The storm will pass. The night will pass. Most individuals, most people have done things just because the storm was coming. And those, star those things that they have done jeopardize during the storm and also cause more problems after the storm. Be calm. Every now and then you'll see a sign somewhere, be calm. But it's very difficult to be calm on your own. It is very difficult to be calm of your own. So if you're like me, I learn to trust in the Almighty God. I learn to trust, put all my trust, put all my confidence in the Almighty God. I learn to lean unto Him, lean to Him. I learned to put all my trust in God. You're listening to a person who have went through many storms. You're listening to the voice of someone who been through many storms. You're listening to the voice of someone who 
have faced many storms. I am not a great pilot. I'm not a good captain of a ship. But I know someone who is. I know that my God is the greatest captain that you could ever find. I know that my God is the greatest pilot you could ever find. So I don't even want to be the co-pilot. I don't even want to be, want my God to be the co-pilot. I want him to be my pilot. I don't want my God to be my assistant. I need, need him to take full control, full charge. So when I look back of the great many storms that came in my life, there's not one person that can say they have never been through storm. As long as you're in this earth or in this world, wherever, whomever you are, you have been in some kind, some form of storm. Because storm seems to be, it is a part of life. Going through storm seems it's a part. Not only going through storm is a part of life, the many storms you go through also help to create your character. Storm sometimes comes to test you and it see how stable, how the storm comes to see how stable your house is built. The storm comes to see how stable your roof is all about. As a matter of fact, after the storm, you can actually see those who have to do many cleanup, replacing their roof, cutting down trees that was blown down. You see, the weaker trees will fall. The house that the roof was not very secure will blow off. And sometimes even the roof that is secure will blow off. The house that is wasn't very stable will blow down. These things are descriptions of our life. If our life is not rooted an anchor in God, it will blow down. Storms doesn't have to be the wind that blows, but it could be the word that man say. Storm doesn't have to be the, 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 the words, but it could be illness, sickness, pain, financial difficulties, loneliness. Storms are many things. It's not all just in the case of wind. But the good news about this, when you are sick, you need to attend to a physician or a doctor. Same thing in that manner that I meant. When you are in trouble, there are lawyers. I'm talking about people with expert ideas. When you are, your home having a problem, you need to consult with a, consider a carpenter or someone who knows about construction. I hope you catch where I'm coming from. But the good news about trusting in God, he is the master of all. I don't need to find another God. The same God in whom I serve in heaven can fix it all. The God of heaven can fix it all. There's a song that said there is no secret what God can do. What he done for others, he will do for you. There's another song somewhere said, closer than a brother, my Jesus is to me. He's my dearest friend in everything I need. He is my rock, my shield and hiding place. Closer than a brother, Jesus is to me. There's another song that said, amazing grace, how sweet the sound 
that save a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I found, was blind, but now I can see. Beautiful cattle over on the hillside. The, the thing speak in the in the in the word. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup run it over. Surely goodness and mercies shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. These were the beautiful words of David. Solomon said, his own Solomon, his son said, If I may boast, let me boast about the Lord Jehovah God. Let me boast about the God in whom I trust. So you see, great man and great woman trust in the Almighty God. The storm will come. I cannot tell you this morning to move anywhere where there will not be storm. You see, in the world in which we live, some areas are known as storm country. Some areas are known as storm country. Some areas are known as tornado country. Some areas are known for different stuff. But the many storms that comes in individual lives, there is absolutely nowhere I can tell you to go where you will not face some kind of storm. So what I'm trying to say to you, don't run away from the storm, but trust in the master who can override every storm. Trust in the God of heaven who can override, who could shut down every storm that blows. And blow, the storm must blow. But he said, I am safely in the hands of God. I am safe in the hands of God. So I promise that the storm will blow. There's another song said, for I'm sheltered in the arms of God. So let the storm blows. So I am literally saying to you, yes, the storm will blow. I cannot tell you anywhere to go where there will not be some kind of storm storm of sickness storm of pain storm, storm of sadness storm of loneliness storm of financial difficulties storm 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 but my God is able to bring you through every storm. If you will only trust him, my God will is able to bring you through every storm. You don't need to try to fight the storm on your own. Trust in the almighty God. You may say, Minister Errol, you are talking foolish. To each and every person who live in an area of great storm, they have to do things. They have to build bunkers, you got to do this. Well, I did not say don't build bunkers because wherever you go in a city or an area, everybody has a common thing in which they will do to protect themselves. So what I'm trying to say to you, wisdom are given. That meant somebody declare war on you, wisdom are given by the storm breaker. Wisdom are given by the person who is able. That storm could be a man or men come against you. You can declare all kind of stuff. You can start say all kind of stuff, but trust in the God of heaven. Don't go out and start to figure out a way how to fight back. Don't 
go and try to figure out how can I fight back? No, no, no. Don't go out and figure out how can I get my revenge? No, no, no. How could I, don't go out, study all these crazy stuff. No, no, no. You see, what I'm trying to say to you, if you are, let's say you are in trouble, you don't go out right away and study law so you can defend yourself, do you? Let's say you're sick. You don't go out and started to study. Well, I'm not saying you cannot study medicine, but you do not book yourself in college or university to study to become a doctor so you can attend to yourself, do you? What I'm trying to say to you, when storm comes, when trouble comes, call on the God who is able to fix it all. Some things are not fixable. So what I'm trying to say to you, call on the God. When I say some things are not fixable, let me be clear. Sometimes, as you notice on the road, there are automobiles. There are sometimes an incident with an automobile. It broken down or got into a situation on the road or whatever it might be. And then, of course, the insurance, adju insurance adjuster looked at it and sometimes it is known that it is written off. That meant that automobile is written off. When they said it's written off, it is, they do not consider it's repairable. So what that does, that automobile is written off and a new one need to go into position. So when I say to you, some things are not fixable, yes, sometimes God will written off some of the situations and put something else new in place. Don't force the things that will be written off, don't force it to remain on the road because there will be problems later. Trust in the Almighty God as a great adjuster. Trust in the Almighty God as a great financial advisor. Trust in the Almighty God as a great physician. Trust in the Almighty God as a great carpenter. As a matter of fact, Jesus Christ was known as a carpenter. Trust in the Almighty God as the great fisherman who knows where the fish, is, fish are. Trust in the Almighty God who is the great doctor who is able to heal the sick. Trust in the great Almighty God who is able, 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 even able to raise up Lazarus, our Zara's daughter. Trust in the Almighty God who is able to let the blind man see. Trust in the Almighty God who is able, hallelujah, to feed many with a couple of fishes and a few loaves of bread. Trust in the Almighty God who is able to calm the storm. Trust in the Almighty God who is able to walk upon the water. Trust in the Almighty God who is able to go into the garden and pray and said, Father, if it's thy will, let this cup pass from me but nevertheless not my will but thy will be done trust in the almighty God who is able to say hallelujah you know I'm saying God but Jesus Christ is the one who spoke these words today thou shalt be with me in paradise trust in the almighty God who is able to say thy sins are forgiven Trust in the Almighty God who is able to say, if you drink from that well, you will thirst again. But if you drink from the water that I will give you, you will never thirst again. Trust in that God. Trust in the Almighty God who babbled, 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 babbled. The, 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 the excellent and the, the greatness in intelligence. 
trust in the Almighty God who walked through the marketplace and said, My house is a house of prayer, but you have turned it into a thief, in a den a thief. Trust in the Almighty God who said, I am, hallelujah, I am, I am, I am your healer. Trust in the Almighty God who said, I will go, but I will send you the comforter. Trust in the Almighty God who said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Trust in the Almighty God who said, if I go, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Trust in the Almighty God who said, in my Father's house are many mansions. Trust in the Almighty God who walked the lonely road. Trust in the Almighty God who was able. Now all of these I repeat, I am describing Jesus Christ. But trust in the Almighty God who said, What greater than a man laying down his life for a friend? Trust in the Almighty God. This morning, this early morning, your storm is not big enough. Your storm is not great enough. Your storm is not strong enough. Your storm is not powerful enough. Your storm is not unknown to God. Trust in the Almighty God. Trust in the Almighty God. Trust in the Almighty God. He is able to overpower every storm. Don't run here and don't run there. Trust in the Almighty God. Don't jump overboard. Don't throw in the towel. Trust in the Almighty God. Don't sell yourself out. Don't sell yourself short. Trust in the Almighty God. Don't, don't, think you are alone trust in the almighty God to God be the glory great things he have done you are listening to the voice of minister Errol Trench from Trench Altar Ministry a circumstances changer and let me tell you your circumstances can be changed your circumstances can be changed. Your circumstances can be changed. Your circumstances can be changed.